looking for miracles. God bless you. Very nice. How is it? Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the program. Thanks for being here. Listen to this now. I'm shopping today. I'll tell you, for, first of all, forget about getting involved. It just doesn't pay to get involved anymore. Am I right on this? You're right. It doesn't pay to get involved. Listen to this true life anecdote here. I'm shopping today. I'm down in one of these uh, little convenience stores picking up, I don't know, what I was buying. Shoelaces. It doesn't make any difference what I was buying. The story will illustrate now how it doesn't pay to get involved. Okay, so watch this. I'm in the convenience store now buying mm, chips. Let's say it was chips. Forget the shoelaces. I'm down there buying potato chips, and I see in front of me like a young punk. Yeah. You know, like, like a young tough, like a thug, like a guy who's probably caused trouble all his life. Now, I see this guy steal a pack of gum out of the, right off the counter there, put it in his pocket, and he doesn't say anything when he checks out the rest of the stuff. So he's stealing now gum. So when, I, when the kid leaves, I say to the guy behind the counter, I said, that kid just stole a pack of gum. And the guy behind the counter says to me, who are you, Elliot Ness? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Hope. Thank you. Thank you very much. God, God bless you. I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Paul, you don't think I overtold that one, do you? <laughs> No, 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 no. But did you, for a second, did you think like it was true? Well, yes, because I did. Because I'm kind of worked up sure, about it, like absolutely. I'm hot. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like <laughs> a real comedian. Much. Huh? What? Like, <laughs> what did you say? Like a guy who makes his living, you know. No, what did you say? Like a real comedian. Like a real... I said, like a real comedian. <laughs> oh, my God. How long has it been? <laughs> How long have we? No, we huh? We've been doing this and show. And it's come for to this, time. has yes, it? it has. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, well, last night the Pistons won the uh, NBA uh, championship. They, uh, they swept the defending champion uh, Los Angeles Lakers four games to none. Now, this is kind of sad. Uh, Pat Riley, uh, the coach of the Lakers, announced this morning that during the offseason, he's checking into a moose rehab clinic. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, who are you, Elliot Ness? Uh, well, according to the uh, Black Flag Company, for the second year in a row, uh, the United States city with the uh, most cockroaches is... You want to guess on this? Any thoughts on this? That's right, it is Miami. Thank you. That concludes the guessing portion of the show. Uh, it was Miami for the second year in a row. And also, for the second year in a row, an angry, angry New York City mayor, Ed Koch, is demanding a recount. So it looks like... <laughs> Uh, yesterday in Toronto, a uh, repentant Ben Johnson, you know, he was the uh, gold medal winner in the 100-meter uh, sprint in uh, Seoul, Korea. And then, of course, they found out that he had been using uh, steroids, and so he lost the... Anyway, now he is confessing to everything. He said, yes, that when he was in uh, Seoul, he, in fact, was using steroids. Uh, he then also admitted that he uh, sold arms to Iran. Uh, he said he also used to go out and get drunk with John Tower, and... Occasionally, he would have sex with Jim Baker. So he... Uh, over there is our... How are you, David? Just is like a right? real comedian, eh? Oh. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, a guy who makes his living setting up jokes, delivering them, telling punchlines, and... Yeah. and that's what what, what you... am I doing here? Delivering meat? No, no, no. no. You seemed, you said, did I deliver, did I oversell it? I yeah, said, yeah, like yeah. a normal. You know what okay. happened today? You know something? By the way, do you have worms at your place? Why, do you need some? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Do you have worms at your place? Yeah. The, the, the property is swarming with worms. Oh, you're kidding. No, and I think it has something to do with the rain, but they, they drop out of the sky on these little thin strands of something. <laughs> They just, you see yeah. them come sailing down and then That's they land awful. on the ground and they squiggle everywhere. They're in my, they're in my house. That's terrible. They're all over the outside. They're all over the inside. Uh, I inadvertently slept on one. <laughs> but who hasn't? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> see, I don't even know what that means again. 
Uh, but so now what I need to know, is this a bad thing to have these worms crawling around? They're little fuzzy deals about that long, and they'll become uh, uh, beautiful butterflies one day yeah. and then leave, won't they? Yeah, let's hope so. They can't. They're gypsy moths? Now what does that mean? I'm gonna have to rebuild in a couple of years? <laughs> Will they chew the house down? Foliage. Foliage. So sh what, what should I do? Spray. Who am I talking to? <laughs> so hi, nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you know, anyway, uh, something lovely happened here today, uh, about 2 o'clock this afternoon, our own Hal Gurney. You know Hal, don't you, Paul? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hal, uh, <laughs> when did this become a damn auction is what I want to know. Um, Hal uh, was nice enough to bake a ziti for everybody. Hal, roll the videotape of the uh, crew enjoying the ziti that you prepared for us earlier today. There it is. Look at that. Two or three. Yes. Ziti. That's right. Here's everyone enjoying themselves. There's Jeff Anderson. We're not sure who that is. There's a barber game. Just give me a coin. Yes. Not that much. Right in the middle of summer, you can't uh, beat several pounds of steaming uh, ziti. There's Barbara Gaines <laughs> finishing it up. I remember in the old days, Paul, when we first started on this show, they would air condition the studio. Do you remember that? I, <laughs> Not anymore. A little warm in here. Oh, boy. Earlier, you should have been here earlier. Boy, it was freezing cold. Was it really? Icy cold. Well, we then they heated it up switch. for us. And yesterday on the program, uh, Emerson Fittipaldi was going to be with us, and he, he was late because of uh, poor plane the conditions. Right. Right? Yes. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, so he, he didn't get on, and he was nice enough to send this morning. I thought this was very thoughtful. He sent over a load of muffins. I heard about this. I thought it was fabulous. Yeah, but don't you think that's nice that somebody, they don't, they don't get on the show, and then, by way of saying, I'm sorry, they send over a lovely little gift? What do you think he would have in his mind? Did it, did it mean anything in particular? I don't think it meant anything other than it was just a lovely gesture. I thought it was so lovely that I put together a little song. What? Do you, do you think it would be all right if I did it? Yes, please do. What if we Go move right the ahead. camera over here? What if we just move the camera right over there? Do you know that Muffin Man? That Fittipaldi Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? He drives an Indy car. He sent a tray of muffins, blueberry corn and bran. He's an Indy race car hero and Muffin Man Thanks, Paul. And he and he's back here again tonight. Oh, and tonight uh, he's here. Yeah, tonight he is here. Oh great. Yeah. Uh, Paul, he is here. Let's do the uh, top ten list here and uh, get on with our lives. Boy. I, I feel like I'm taking salt tablets or something. You're sweating a little I'm bit. I'm sweating like a mule. Over here, it's like kind of icy chilly. Really? Is it? It is. Now, yeah. we established this the other day. There are various meteorological pockets in this uh, facility. Currents. Where I am, it's very hot. And earlier up in the studio audience, it seemed to be terribly warm up there, too. How can we do something about it? I don't know. Uh, is it cold up there now? Yes! Yeah. Oh, tell somebody who cares. <laughs> um... From the home office in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, top 10 1989 prom themes. Ah. Did you go to a prom when you were a kid? I played uh, at, at my prom. I played in the band, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Wearing an Indian Nehru jacket with a, oh, cute. <laughs> with a medallion. Uh, I, uh, here we go. Top 10 1989 prom themes. Number 10, We Remember Khomeini. Number 9, uh, Our Sagging Dollar. Number 8, uh, a Night in Drew Barrymore's Basement, number seven. <laughs> number seven, Mudslide. Number six, The Best Years of Our Lives Are Now Over. Uh, number five, Satanic Teenage Time Bombs. Number four, uh, Surrounded by Infected Ticks. Number three, Our Crummy Gym with a Couple of Streamers. Uh, number two, Rob Lowe Pajama Party.
Uh, and the number one 1989 prom theme, McDonald's is hiring. Hal, have that ZD tape standing by, will you? Yes, sir. In fact, could we see a couple of seconds of it right now? Yeah, let's This was uh, ZD that Hal made for the staff and crew earlier today, Paul. There it is, people enjoying. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. OK, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. 80 pounds of baked ZD by our own Hal Gurney. Damn nice of him, don't you think? It was very tasty, if I may say. And I was tricked into eating it. How, how so? Well, I was just offered it. Hal made some lovely ziti, and I was eating it and really gorging myself. I yeah. looked up and saw that I was being filmed at that the That is quite a trick. Yes. <laughs> um, our first guest is a, a very talented writer and director and a, a very engaging actor and comedian. On July 26th, he will be in concert at the Westbury Music Fair out on Long Island, and uh, then on July 27th in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Robert Townsend. Hi, Robert. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. You all right? Robert Townsend. Thank you. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, are, you, are you spending the summer touring all over the country performing? I'm doing different places. I've just started back doing stand-up. Mm -hmm. I haven't been doing it for some time, you know, and it's like, I like directing movies, but stand-up is real hard because the audience, the response, it's good and it's bad because if they don't like you and they go, you suck! Yeah. You know, so that's kind of scary, but uh, I'm having a good time. I can't, I can't imagine that that would be happening to you, though. Well, now, now, you know, it's, see, I remember when I first started out and I bombed in front of my mother and that was the scariest feeling that ever happened. Where, where was this? It was at a club in Chicago, East Chicago Heights. And it was like uh, some promoter came up to me and said, I'll give you $50 to do this, uh, to do 10 minutes in front of this crowd. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was an easy $50. Now, but had I, you ever, never done a performing I had never done it before. before. At that point, I was doing like impressions. I would turn my back and say, OK, now I am Ed Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Really big shoe, really, really, really big. <laughs> you know? And that was my act. And I went in there, and I went on stage, and I was like, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. They could get off. You suck. My mother was right in the front like this. She goes, Go on, baby. I know you suck, but go on. Go on, baby. <laughs> so, so that's where it started. And uh, what was the audience there for? Were they not, not there to see you, but to see somebody else? There was a woman that, uh, named Ruby Andrews that I was opening for. She did a song called It's All Over Casanova, uh -huh. you know, and that was like her big hit. And so they were there to see her. She filled so. the club. Uh, half. <laughs> it wasn't that popular of a tune. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think we talked about this once before. But you, you, of course, you weren't a tough kid. You don't look like you were a tough kid. Well, you know, you know, it's funny. Uh, I have a lot of friends that when I was coming up that, you know, like, I, you know, it wasn't that I couldn't fight, but it was just that I used my voices to help me out. Like, yeah. when I would do impressions, people say, well, Robert can make us laugh, and so we'll be his friend. But uh, a lot of people thought, a lot of people thought I've changed. Like, when, like, last time I was on the show, and people were saying, like, well, man, you look like you've changed. But I guess people <laughs> expect me to come out and say, you know, like, I remember the ghetto. I was, it was very, very hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> You know, David, uh, I, I ain't not be the same, no, David. <laughs> Chill out, homeboys. I be the same. <laughs> you know, so... But also, when they say that, the last time they probably saw you, you were, what, like 11? Well, so obviously, you would have changed a little. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's funny because uh, back then, I was real shy. Yeah. As a kid, I was, I was very, very shy, and I would do all my characters at home, and so nobody knew I had, you know, any kind of talent. Yeah. And then you started, um, you became an actor at what age, at what point in your life? Uh, whew, whew. When I was in high school, the first movie I did was Cooley High. Yeah. And I was in Oh, that's 75. right. I remember we talked I about did, this. like, yeah. two lines yeah. in that movie. And you and were, like, a big deal, and you told the kids you had made... A uh, million dollars. Yeah, that's right. Why, you still on welfare. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it until I'm 18. <laughs> so, so... That's your good for a million. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so you're doing the stand-up again. That's exciting. Uh, what else are you working on? Other uh, films? Other... I'm, I'm developing. I've been, um, well, I feel bad to today because the Lakers lost. I'm a big Lakers fan, and so I'm, like, wiped out. Yeah. I mean, because uh, I have season tickets, and uh, I went to the one game right before they lost, you know, the, the sweep and stuff like that, and all these Detroit fans were there, yeah. you know, heckling, you know, like with guns. So it was like, <laughs> Detroit, Detroit! So right now I've been working on different projects. I've got a project about uh, school teachers. I've got one that I'm working on about singing groups and then one about school teachers because uh, I really think that school teachers aren't really, uh, don't have the respect, you know? I mean, I wish school teachers were paid like athletes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I, no, really, really. I'd love to see a school teacher make like $1.5 million, you know? <laughs> and you know, they dealt with them like athletes, like Mr. Johnson chemistry at $1.5 million. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Education. <laughs> you know, something crazy. <laughs> yeah, something crazy. Thank All you. Right. We, uh, what, what, what? We'll do a uh, commercial. We'll be right back. Uh, what else? What's the other event? Discus, that's right. Is that right? That's right. They'll be in St. Louis competing in the uh, Senior Olympics. They don't use steroids. No, no. Uh, where are you living these days? I'm in the Hollywood Hills. I bought a house in the Hollywood Hills. Big, big place? Sprawling? No, small, small house. Small house. Uh, it's in the hills. You know, yesterday I got, you know, that quake. I, it just makes me nervous. How you big know? was that one? It was like uh, four point whatever. It was, you know, like they give you these numbers, but it's like, it was scary. You yeah. know, they should just go, it's scary, you know. So uh, it was, you know, like anytime you feel the ground shaking, you know, it's like uh, I was coming up here today and the subway was moving, you know, like, vroom, you're yeah. like, quick, you know, but. Uh, any, I guess any time, anything over a three is going to get your attention out there, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's like weird because everything starts rattling like yeah. this, and then you try to, you know, like, hold you, you know, like, say, okay, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And then I'm, like, on the side of a hill, and so I just go out and go, ah, yeah. you know, and then come back in. But, uh, you know, it makes you a little nervous. I've only been through a couple of them when I lived out there, and uh, it's exciting, and it's also, as you say, very scary. But well, it's like a roller coaster yeah. ride, you know. But the, the thing that occurred to me the two times that it happened to me is you just think to yourself, it takes you for a second to figure out what it is. When you realize what it is, the next thought is, oh my God, this could go on forever, and then it would be all over. Well, you know, the thing is that they say jump under a desk. You know, they say jump under a desk, but it's like you're so nervous, you're just sitting there going, yeah. should I be under the desk? <laughs> I mean, so that's what, so when it happened the other day, I was sitting, you know, talking to some friends, and it shook, and I just, you know, just sat there, and yeah. then everybody else started running, but it was like 10 seconds later. Yeah, yeah, and, and the other thing is you think about when it's over, if it's a small one, you think, well, damn, let's have another one. But, you know, <laughs> you know I mean, I'm, talk I'm talking about the little, the small ones. I'm not talking about like a 5.4 no, or no, that. It's, it's, it's not like a free roller coaster ride. <laughs> yeah, That's what it is. It's like, woo! It's terribly exciting. Uh, anyway, oh, so now when you, uh, I guess when you moved to Los Angeles, or did you come to New York before when you started? I was living in New York. I started, uh, my career started here in New York. I was doing TV commercials. Right. Which, did, which commercials? Anything we would know? Uh, I sold Midas mufflers. I sold Chicken McNuggets. Really? You know, I, you know, like, uh, all those, you know, different commercials. You know, it's funny because, like, the guys that were doing the commercials with me, it was, like, three plumbers, and two of them were vegetarians, mm -hmm. you know, and so everybody was going, like, McDonald's. <laughs> you know, so... So I did a bunch of commercials. I did extra work, you know, for, uh, for like, four years, my mother saw the back of my head, you yeah. know, so she was, like, telling her friends, that's my son right there, those are his ears, you know, because that's all you saw was this, <laughs> you know, so I did that. And, and uh, how, how is your social life these days, as they say? Uh, well, I'm getting it together. I have some. What does that mean, getting it together? Were, <laughs> were, were there problems of some kind? Well, you know, it's the '80s. It's like uh, it's like being no, it's like it's like being an a, it's being a '50s man with an '80s woman. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Because it's like uh, uh, ladies nowadays they don't want to cook, they don't want to do anything, you know. But then you still have to be the traditional man. So it makes it kind of hard, yeah, yeah. you know? And then now, you know, it's safe sex and stuff. You know, I, I went through, you know, like my share of like one night stands and that stuff is like scary, you know, cause you drink a little alcohol and get your courage up. And then the next morning you got to deal with that person. And it's like, <gasps> oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? And the woman's there like this. But I love you, Robert. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Terrible. Terribly flattering. <laughs> yeah. No one's ever kissed my hump like that. Oh, man. Uh, and so you're going to be out at uh, the Westbury Music Fair? Yeah. And uh, then at Valley Forge? Yeah, it's the 27th and the 28th. Did I screw that up? Yeah, it was the 26th and the 27th, so there'll be a lot of people there on the 26th going, where is he? <laughs> well, you ought to get a little something for that anyway. Uh, and this, these are big places, huh? Yeah, they're really, uh, they're big houses. I mean, I like it. I mean, uh, oh, that's great. like I said, I was at New York City Theater. I mean, when I was here, I did a lot of stuff uh, on, and I mean, off, off Broadway. I never yeah. got on Broadway, but so I love the big theaters. Yeah. Good, good. I hope you have a great summer. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for being here. Robert.
coming up with this. Hal, Hal, uh, uh, is Pete Fatovich in there? Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, good. <laughs> what, uh, Hal, tell the folks what Pete Fatovich does on the program. Dave, he's our associate director. I see. We can barely hear you, Hal. Is that all right? He's our associate director. Thank you very much. And Pete, I understand you want to introduce somebody today. Oh, sure. I have an intern now. Uh-huh. Is this your first intern? First Pete? intern. How long have you... I waited 30 years for an intern. You've never had an intern in 30 never years? I've had one before. Uh-huh. And uh, go ahead and introduce him, Pete. Here he is, Elon Brile. Uh, where are you from, Elon? I'm from New York. Uh huh. Nice to have you here. You know, it's uh, it's kind of your day, because you're Pete's intern. Are you enjoying working with Pete? Oh uh, yeah, I am. Uh huh. What, what kind of things do you do for him? Run errands, get him cookies. Uh huh. <laughs> you didn't pick out the jacket, did you? No, no. Uh, no. Uh, anything you want, we'll do anything. Anything you'd like to see on the show tonight? Hal, what are you doing? Well, speed up, yeah. Oh. How about uh, how about some more uh, prom things? Did you notice how he scratched his chin there, Paul? He was thinking it over. Thinking how about it. some more what? Prom themes. Prom themes? You mean like we did at the beginning, the top ten prom themes? Yeah. That's okay, right. fine, Elon. Because it's your day, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, stop, man. Like another 10? Oh, another... here we go again from another the home 10? office in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Top 10 1989 prom themes. Number 10, Stains to Explain. Number 9, <laughs> Next Stop Minimum Wage. Number 8, An Evening with Mookie. Uh, number 7, Bitter Unpopular Kids with Assault Rifles. Number 6, Out Cold in an IHOP Men's Room. Number 5, the march to the grave is one quarter over. Number four, binaka, binaka, binaka. Number three, kill the chaperones. Number two, let's meet at Letterman's house. Number one, lucky to be American because we couldn't graduate from high school anywhere else on this planet. Pretty elaborate setup, isn't it? Are you sure Jack Hanna's not here? Uh, our next guests have a, a total of 10 uh, senior Olympic medals in, uh, and 217 years of experience between them. And next week they go to St. Louis to uh, represent New York State in the United States National Senior Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the Auerbach sisters. Where are you, uh, ladies? Hi. How do you do? Pleasure to see you. I guess we'll come down here. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, let's, I, I'll tell you what, let's turn around here so the, uh, there we go. Let, now let's introduce everybody. Who are you? Pearl Auerbach. Pearl, nice to see you. And, and your, you. your event is? A discus, javelin, shot put, uh -huh. uh, table tennis. Badminton swimming. Badminton swimming. And you've been doing these things all your life, or just oh, recently? No, just when did when did you start? Uh, when did you well, get interested when we in? We started the... uh, with the uh, senior games uh -huh. just before the um, senior Olympics two years ago. Right. And but before that, you were always athletic, or not? I would say yes, but okay. not not competitive. Okay. Now, do we uh, do we want to start with you? Do you? Is this who we start with? Okay. I think what I what are you going to do? This is a, a shot put, shot right? Shot put, right? Whoa! <laughs> Good old it's an old joke. So I know. Yeah, it's not that heavy, is it? <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, are you just going to heave it for us? Uh, yeah, I would have to take... Uh, you guys are all sisters? Is that the deal? Uh, are, are you sure? Real Honest sisters. to goodness, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's take these medals off. We okay, let me... These are from the uh, first... Thank you very these much. Are Whoa! <laughs> Stop oh, it. You know, once are, you get a real from, good joke. These are from the uh, past Olympics. Past Olympics. Okay, so we have a gold and a silver. Two years ago. All right. And a ribbon. And a ribbon. And take off your glasses. No, the glasses remain shirt. on. Take off, your, <laughs> take off your shoes. Take off your blouse. Thank take you. off your shorts. Take off everything. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no, wait a minute. Do you need my plenty of room? No, what what no. is the, the record? This is, I, don't, I couldn't tell you what this is. What, what is your personal best? Uh, mine is uh, 25 feet 9 inches. 25 feet 9 inches. All right. I have a little bit of difficulty doing that now. 
Pearl. Is that Pearl? Yeah. Okay, here, excuse um, me, I'm sorry. This is done from a circle that's uh, seven feet in diameter. I don't know what the measurement of this one seven is. Seven feet. It's seven, seven feet, Pearl. What do you care? <laughs> what do you care? It's seven feet, all right? Don't make trouble. I just don't want to land off the mat. <laughs> And it's a shot put. It's supposed to be put, let, not let thrown. See, let me see the shot not put. Not thrown. Wait a minute and this ask is, this again. This is ladies' weight. <laughs> this is ladies', <laughs> this is ladies weight. It's ladies' weight. Right. right. <laughs> you know, Pearl, I don't think this circle is seven feet. I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay. I'll judge. <laughs> I'll try to anyway. <laughs> Watch it. Don't take one of these in the head. <laughs> I know, we don't want to do that. Yeah! You know, that, that was like 25 feet right there. I hope so. Well, that was it. I hope so. Very nice. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you. How Three much? Four and a half? Oh. Very close. And you said Good. your personal best is? 25.9. Very close to your personal best. Pearl, yeah. nice meeting you. Good luck in St. Louis. Thank Hi. you. Come on in. You. Sylvia, nice to see you. And, all right, here, Sylvia, let's turn oh, around. Turn now, uh, to now, this circle is not seven feet. No, Will that bother you? No, it doesn't bother what, me What all. are your events? It's the, uh, the same. Uh -huh. You do, so you guys... Put, so you guys actually... Discus come, throw, javelin, table tennis. Swimming? No. <laughs> so, so you guys compete uh, against one another? With each other. You compete with each we, other, uh, I see. We compete against people in our own age group. Uh -huh. And you tend to be the best in your age groups? You win the medals. Yeah, we have we a good time. Okay, yeah, so win. you're going to show us, obviously, uh... Javelin throw. Javelin throw, okay. Yeah. You want to start taking stuff off, too? No. <laughs> I, mean, she, I better not. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, what, what can I do to help? <laughs> what, what may I do to help you? What may you do to help me? Yeah. Cheer me on. Okay. 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 Here we go. Now, do you... Uh, What, what, is, what is your personal best? My personal best in the jam is about 55. 55. This is a difficult uh, event to master, isn't it? Oh, very difficult. Has she killed anyone with that? <laughs> the last guy we put off the team because he caught it with his chest. Oh, he did? Really? So a guy, said, not he off stabbed the, a guy? Not going to be on the chest? team. We really? got him off the team. Actually took one in his chest and he's dead? <laughs> really? <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, throw it. Here we go. What? She's going to... Don't... Here we go. Yeah, I should have that You know, that's not seven feet. <laughs> Just two. Watch the lights. Oh! That's a lie. <laughs> Come on. That was not 55 feet. No, but that's, that's a pretty good half. Good luck. Nice to meet Thank you. you Thank much. you.